Let's take a look at our gazelle sequence. We're starting from seated in the hoop. I use a tuck mount to get up. Both hands come to the side, tilting the hips to the side and walking it down into a gazelle. And then turning towards the hoop, hands to either side of the hips for arrow. Ending in a knee hook. And we can make a pose here. Then we'll vine climb up, straightening that back leg, coming into a belly roll, and very carefully walking the hands back for our popsicle or iron fanny. Looks like the hoop is in your crotch, but it's actually on the very, very innermost part of the thigh. From here, we can hold on with one hand, turn out into a star, and then come back to seated. We're going to prepare to invert to the top hoop. So one leg hooks on the opposite side of the span set, other leg stays to the back, and then we can slide that knee down into a lion. Let's take another look in slow motion. Coming up to seated, we will put both hands to one side of the hoop and then turn the body away from the hands. We'll have an inside leg that's closer to the hoop, outside leg is farther away, that outside leg is bending as we lower down with the hands and upper body while the inside leg remains straight. Both legs are to one side while upper body is to the other side. This is our gazelle. From here, we're turning towards the hoop and towards the midline of the body, grabbing onto either side of the hips, rotating that straight leg up to 12 o'clock and the bent knee down to six o'clock. Then moving the straight leg to the back of the hoop, grabbing onto the same side as the bent knee and lowering down into a knee hook. We can make some Delilah shapes here. I also know them as Marley's. Pressing the top of the foot into the hand to arch the back. From here, we're vine climbing up, one hand over the other, till we have enough leverage to straighten that leg, push it down towards the ground and belly roll up. And then we're preparing to get into that popsicle shape, also known as an iron fanny. Hands can walk back while the hoop stays in the innermost portion of the thigh. Kind of looks like it's right in your crotch, but it should be in the inner thigh. Um, shouldn't be painful. We'll do a little back bend here. And then we'll prepare to grab on high next to the span set with the same side arm as the leg that is resting on the hoop. So whichever thigh is a little bit more, has a little bit more um, space on the hoop. It'll be that hand, thumb is towards span set and we're turning out for a star. And then just coming back to seated on the hoop. We can hold on with wide hands so the legs have room to invert. And then we'll choose one leg. That leg will hook on the opposite side of the span set. Other leg stays to the back. We're really gonna make sure the bottom hand here, so the same hand as the straight leg, stays to the front of the hoop and that'll set you up for your lion. From here, we can slightly release the bend in that top knee, allowing it to slide down, ending in our lion. Always a good idea to practice the lion before doing this, just so you know where you want to end up. And then enjoying this nice restful position to be in. Thank you for watching. Bye.